Okay, this is Brant from tradeguild.blogspot.com and we're going to take a quick look at a few more stocks. And the first up on this screen is SLXA, Solexa Inc. Diagnostic Substances. Uh, this is a big uh, triangle, symmetrical triangle. And you can see I've drawn the trend lines already. And uh, it's stretching back almost the entire year. So uh, it's a big pattern and it is starting to narrow down into the apex over here. We're going to look for this to come to a point. And basically we're going to expect a breakout. In this case I think we'll see a breakout and a pullback. So you can buy this uh, in this area. It's certainly at a really uh, decent price today as it came down to the bottom of this uh, this uh, apex. And I've had this on the long list for a couple days now because of this. I'm, I've been expecting a nice entry here. And uh, you can also buy it as it breaks out. If you're a momentum player, you can buy it on the pullback. Uh, that's what I like. I like to buy it in the triangle, and I like to buy it, uh, maybe add to it on the pullback. I'm going to um, just zoom out, or actually just change the uh, chart function here, and we're going to go with a, um, let's say, a weekly chart. So you get a better a better look at that triangle. You can also see the volume down here is starting to, uh, it's not a perfect volume pattern for, the, for this pattern, but uh, it looks good. Also time segmented volume down here is very productive. It's moving up. It looks good. Uh, so that's going to do it for SLXA. Not a lot more to see there. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is TTMI. And uh, this is TTM Technologies Inc printed circuit boards. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious why I'm short this stock. I've had it in my portfolio since, uh, I don't know, somewhere back in this area. And uh, what we're looking at basically is not really a, a textbook head and shoulders, but it is a top formation of some sort. Top formations always come after uh, a significant rally. That's a pretty nice rally right there. It's uh, almost tripled in price. And um, coming back to the one day. You can see that uh, we did get this nice breakdown that I was uh, anticipating right in here. And what is going on now is it's consolidating a little bit underneath this neckline that you can see. And we're just going to uh, actually let me just zoom in a little bit tighter on this so you can see. Uh, this sh neckline should be functioning at this point it was functioning as support and remember what we said about that when we break support it becomes resistance so now this neckline is functioning as resistance and you can see uh, price has been turned back a couple days here at that neckline and basically um, it's a good play as it pulls up to this neckline if it rallies a little bit and uh, doesn't go too far maybe not more than three percent above the neckline that's a short that's a nice short. Uh, I had this on the short list the other day, and you could have bought it right here. And uh, I'm going to just zoom in on that for you so you can see what happened there. We got a, uh, a star. This is a little star here. And then we had the confirmation over here. So I think I put it on the short list this day, so you could have gotten in up here around 14.50 and, uh, in the morning and had made a nice profit that day and then captured this 10% move down which was very nice so uh, very nice play there uh, take a look at one more screen here and basically actually let's go back I, I want to show you one other thing we've been talking about MACD MACD divergences and look at this one this is a whopper I think um, MACD is very productive right here you know we have these uh, highs in price and corresponding high over here in MACD and then we get these new highs in price up here and a corresponding new high in MACD and then look what starts to happen we get this new high and we get a shallower high in the MACD and then finally as uh, you know what I'm gonna say next that's a, uh, a, a divergence it's a beautiful divergence as price is ascending up MACD is heading down uh, this was telling us something so if somebody was paying attention here uh, you could definitely have a nice play in uh, in this one you could have gotten it around fifteen dollars on the short side um, 
one other screen I just want to look at real quick is uh, my uh, my confirmation screen that I use and I shared with you guys here's that short signal right there with the uh, the 10 day moving below the 22 uh, briefly we get a little bit of a uh, an attempt to rally there before it broke down and we have as you can see confirmation in the cumulative indicator and we also have confirmation in RSI being below that zero line so that worked out real nice and um, I think that's gonna do it for this video I'm gonna bring you one more video we're gonna look at uh, one more stock PRZ which has been pretty hot uh, a lot of people on the board are into this one and everybody's got questions about it so we're gonna take a look at that what made that a good move and uh, just keep your eye open for the next post coming